power apps we have multiple elements with the help of which a user can input his or her data now with all these elements there is one element which is majorly used which is date picker date picker is used for picking a specific date now in our power apps we have modern controls which brought advancement in our these elements hi i'm gorup from nohow academy so in our power apps modern controls we have modern elements which we can use in our application and among these elements we have our date picker now with the help of date picker a user can pick date accordingly now the question arises what are the major change in our modern date picker so let me tell you what you are going to understand in this video in this video we will see the modern date picker control in our power apps we will understand the properties and customization in our modern date picker control and then we will use a formula to make the custom date format so first of all i will create my application i name it modern date picker now our app has been created so first of all i will turn on my modern controls so for that i will go to my settings then in the updates i will turn the modern controls and themes here it's written give your app latest control and theme as they are released when enabled the modern control will appear on the modern tab of the insert plane so i will click on insert and search date picker so in the input we have date picker which is the modern date picker and here is our classic date picker so i will take the modern date picker here now first we have our placeholder text when no date is selected this text will be displayed so i can change it simply i will write select date and this is our date picker format so when i click on preview and here i will select the current date this is the format which is being selected that is abbreviated format we can change the format simply when i click on short and select the date this is our short format and this is our year month format so when i select a date we will get the year and the month now we have our date time zone we can change the date time zone currently it's local and we can change it to utc and the appearance you can change the appearance of your date picker like here it's filled darker now when i click on outline you can see the outline in your date picker here you can change the fill color of your date picker like this also the font color now i will simply make our color to transparent and the text color to black so this is how you can format your date picker colors now in the advanced section we have our on change so on our on change we can set any action you can make a navigation or anything else so here on change i will show a notification i will write notify then i will write dollar quote selected date is self dot selected date i will close the double quote notification type will be dot information and duration will be 2 seconds then i will add a semicolon and test after selecting so here when i select a date here you can see the selected date is 2020 2025 this is the us format i will change the format to long abbreviated so as you can see the date which is picked is in the format of us format first month then date and then year here on change i will add a space after is and now it's perfect 
also here in our date picker we can set the start date so i will select the start date should be greater than today so i will write the start date today cut again so in the start date i will write today when i preview as you can see all the dates before today has been disabled and we can do this in our end date too we can set the date range now in our end date i will write date add select today and i will add the days 30 now when i click on preview you can see our start date is today and when i go downwards our end date is 30 days so this is how you can set your date range in your date picker and from here you can select the year and month now we have set our start date and end date also we can set the editable is editable as you can see currently it's false which means you can select the date by only selecting you cannot add the text here so if you set the is editable to true you can select the date by typing here like this now these are our modern date picker controls now to set our date picker we can simply take a button here i will take a button i will place it here in the display i will write icon only icon will be reset and on select i will reset my date picker Now when I click on button reset, our date picker has been reset. So this is how you can reset your date picker. Now what if you want to use a custom date format according to your time zone. So for that, let me take a text and here I will set the text to language. As you can see currently it's English US and in English US we have our format month then date then year so the US date format is month then date then year and for the British it is date then month then year so I want to set the date format according to these two so for that I will go to my app and here I will create a formula in the formula I will name the formula fx date format I will write equal to then I will write switch then language if the language will be in US then the format will be mm slash dd slash yy and for the british we have our en gb you can see the codes by writing value then a comma here you can see all the codes so for the British English we have ENGB so I will go to my formula and here I will write the format DD MM YY else it will be date picker format canvas format dot long abbreviated after that I will add the semicolon after writing the formula in the format i will write the formula fx date format now i will click on run on start 
when I click on preview, when I select a date, you can see the format is in the US format because our app is in US zone. Now to see the difference, we will click on publish. I will go to my application in the publish mode. So, so now when I select a date, you can see it is in the format of month, date and year because it's England, US because of our browser setting. So when I go to my setting and here I will change the browser setting to English United Kingdom and I will click on refresh and now you can see it is changed to English GB and when I click and select a date, the date format is date, month and year. So this is how you can set the custom date format. Also in your date picker, you can set the start of week. It is currently Sunday. If I click on Monday and click on preview, let me change the format again. I will select the long abbreviated. The date format is being started from Monday. So this is your modern date picker control and how you can use it in your power apps. So in this video, we learned how we can use a modern date picker control in power apps. Then we understood the properties and functionalities we can achieve with the help of our modern date picker control. And after that, we created a formula to enter a custom date format according to our language. Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.